Now we move on to our state impact education segment. Just like last year, the fate of a proposed preschool voucher program now depends on the Indiana Senate. Lawmakers in that chamber balked at the idea of creating a pre-K pilot program last year, but this year's plan is different in one key way. Reporter Kyle Stokes has more on that proposal. Kyle, this plan would have preschool programs give students an assessment, not like a standardized test yeah, though, right? Right, no no bubble tests, no sitting down. It's not like the I step that an older student might take, but the drafters of the current Indiana House proposal want to make sure the pre-K program is working for students, that they're leaving preschool ready for kindergarten. So lawmakers' proposal calls for state education officials to pick an official test that the pre-K providers would use to measure how ready students are for kindergarten. The state actually provides one of these tests already. It's called the ISTAR KR. It's a test of students' academic and social skills and it's widely used for special education students in the state. It's not based on a sit-down test, as we said, but on pre-K teachers' observations. One pre-K teacher says the students don't even realize that they're being tested. The data from the assessments, if the plan goes forward, could be invaluable. The state spends $17 million to hold back kindergartners who aren't ready for first grade. And currently, the Indiana Department of Education's best numbers suggest just 2% of students start kindergarten with any kind of documentation of what they learned in preschool. Department officials say even if the preschool proposal doesn't pass the Senate, the state needs to bring find ways to bring preschool providers up to speed. Only half of Indiana's 5,000 pre-K providers get state ratings, one of many facts state officials believe hurts Indiana when they seek out grant money for early childhood education. Of course, the question question that surrounds the General Assembly's pre-K voucher proposal is the price tag. It initially is projected to cost as much as $25 million. It's easy to see a full-fledged program at more than twice that cost. Now, there's a new bill coming up in the Indiana House Education Committee coming up on Monday. It's getting its first hearing. It's written by the chair of that committee, and it's called the Student Data Backpack. This one's interesting. As proposed, it would create a one-stop shop online website where first educators and then later parents could be able to get data on demographics for students, attendance for students, even things like test scores from the I-STEP as well as from tests that they're getting in class. Of course, Joe, this one is going to be touchy among people who are opposing the common core academic standards. It's kind of a touchy issue, student data privacy. We'll have to find, uh, see where this one goes. It's kind of an interesting idea, but of course a controversial one. Okay, thank you very much, Kyle. Sure.